this video is going to feature a couple different things. I was sent as a gift some 3D printed reproductions of old Petra pictures. Uh, one of our first promotional pictures with the four original band members and then a picture that was taken uh, last August at the um, uh, sort of a reunion concert up in Angola, Indiana. And this gentleman by the name of Richard Knack, along with his wife, Janet, who are from Michigan, uh, made these things for us. And I, they sent them to me. And there's also a uh, 3D printed uh, version of the new Petra logo. And Curtis is going to incorporate some still photographs into this video to show what they are. The type of thing where you put a light behind it. And it's, just, it's just really neat looking. And I've never gotten a gift that... Uh, that cool before and uh, Richard and his wife put a lot of time and a lot of work into this and we uh, really sincerely appreciate it and want to say thank you and want everyone to see what these things look like um, also when we did the uh, interview with the four original Petra members last year um, the thing is an hour and a half long, and it's it's on the Facebook page, or well, Facebook as well as our YouTube page, and we just kind of rambled. They had some specific questions they wanted to ask, but then you get four old guys who uh, have known each other for over 50 years, and we just kind of went off the left field sometimes trying to remember things, and Got different versions of the same incident more than once, but that was just entertaining. There was one Petra story that I completely forgot about until afterwards, and it's just so funny, given the uh, nature of where Christian music has gone from and what it's turned into. And way back when, and I can't remember the exact year, but it was with the four original members. We had played somewhere, and... This one guy who was part of a ministry wanted to bring us into his ministry, into his church, into his hometown. And he went ahead and booked a concert for us. Well, bear in mind, this was uh, early, mid-1970s. So the Internet wasn't around yet. The way people communicated was just by a regular phone call. We didn't have smartphones back then. Just a regular phone call or uh, by the uh, snail mail, the U.S. Postal Service, which definitely deserves that, uh, that title at times. What would happen when we would get canceled? Sometimes people didn't want to talk to us. They would send a letter. And being the mail service that it is, sometimes the letter would show up about a day or two before the concert, which would not give us enough time to try to find another gig. And in this particular incident, this is what happened. A letter showed up and said, Hey, brother, uh, I went ahead and booked this concert in good faith that uh, we, you guys were going to come out and do the show. But there's people in our ministry that don't feel rock and roll can be used to the Lord. And so they don't want to do the concert. But we did send you a check for the amount that we agreed upon because we know that you need the money. And you can't rebook this in such a short amount of time. So, yeah, Petra got paid not to show up. I believe it was in Oklahoma. I might be wrong. It's been a long time ago. But in case you're wondering, yes, we did cash the check. But it was, uh, that's just hard to believe that we got paid. Petra was paid not to show up. And, man, things have changed. Petra's still out there doing it even after 50 years. And so, you know, God bless the brothers and everybody over the years who've been involved in that band. And it's a real honor to have been involved in the band. So, hey, thank you.